I'm gonna show you how to replace the front CV axles on this Ram 1500. If you need parts for your vehicle, you can get these at 1AAuto.com. Let's get started. We're gonna remove the wheel, use a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Remove the wheel. We're gonna take the caliper bolts off with the bracket. Use a 21 millimeter socket. Take these two bolts out. Grab the caliper, just slide it off the rotor. Now we're just gonna use a hanger and hang it out of the way. Now just pull the rotor off. If it's stuck on, you wanna take a hammer and just give it a tap in those locations. Slide that off. Using a trim tool, disconnect this speed sensor. There's a connector on the back here. Just pop that out. See where the connector is. There's a little lock tab here. Just want to slide that up. You can use a pick or even the trim tool. Just try to slide that up. You can try to push it up. There we go. Then you push down on the tab, disconnect it. Just pop the retainers out. right here on the wire. Slide that out of the way. Using a 36 millimeter socket, I'll take this nut off. You're gonna loosen this nut up. You can use a 21 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench to hold the stud from spinning if you need to, or a 21 millimeter socket. Loosen that up. We're gonna leave a couple threads on there, right there. Now we're gonna separate the ball joint from the knuckle. There is different front end tools you can use to try to press this out if you have them. If not, just use a hammer. Just give it a tap. That should just pop up like that. Using a pry bar, just pry this down and take the nut off. Slide that up, slide that out of the way. Just give the axle a light tap. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take this nut off for the tie rod. You can use a removal tool or just tap out the hammer. Pop that off, slide that out of the way. Using a 24 millimeter socket, take this nut off. I'm just gonna leave it on a couple threads. That's good. And you can use a removal tool, front end removal tool, or just take a hammer, give it, give it a tap. goes separated take that off slide the shaft out as you slide the ball joint out slides right off. I'm just using a punch and a hammer, just give it a tap. You might want a drain bucket underneath in case you lose any fluid. And we'll slide it out. There we go. That slides right out. 
Now because the shaft came out with the CV shaft, we have to separate it. If yours didn't, then you can skip this step. We're just gonna take a rag. There may be a special tool that you can use to grab onto this. Not everyone's gonna have that. I'll take a rag. I'm gonna put it in a vise. Be very careful. Just snug that down. And just taking a hammer, just give it a tap. And slide it off. Pull that out. Double check, make sure you didn't mar it up, which still looks good. This cap's a little messed up, so we're gonna replace ours. But if you need to take this off, that's how you can do it. Just gonna take a little bit of axle lube. Just move that all around. That's good. You can put a little grease on the end. Slide this in. Just using a rubber mallet. Just tap it in place. That's good. Just put a little grease on the end where the ring is. It's just gonna help, help install the axle. I'll slide the CV axle in place. If you have to, you can Give it a little tap with a rubber mallet. Make sure that's all the way down. All right, that's good. I'll slide this in place. Get the lower ball joint and the axle in at the same time. And take the new lower ball joint nut. Get that started underneath. Once that's started, you can release, release the knuckle. All right, I'm gonna take the outer tie rod in, slide that in place, get the nut started. Line up the upper control arm. Slide the ball joint through and take the nut, get that started. Now I'm just using a pole jack. Just get the knuckle into position. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. We'll tighten that nut. We're gonna to torque this to 38 foot-pounds. And then if you have a torque angle meter, you wanna use that and go an additional 90 degrees. If you don't have one, do the best you can. I can lower the pole jack. Using a pry bar, just pry down on the tie rod so that the stud is tight. Then we're gonna tighten this up. Get that snug. I'll torque this to 29 foot pounds. And then an additional 90 degrees. You can use a torque angle meter if you have one. That's 90. Take a pry bar and just pry the upper control arm down. Snug this nut up. Torque this to 26 foot pounds. And then you want to go an additional 180 degrees. You can use a torque angle meter. If you don't have one, do the best you can. Put the axle nut on. And tighten that down. pry bar, slide it between the studs, making sure it's touching the ground. 
We're gonna torque this nut to 185 foot-pounds. That's good. I'll put the rotor on. I'm just gonna use a lug nut so the rotor does not fall off. Just temporarily. Now take the caliper off the hanger. Slide the caliper over the rotor. Get the caliper bolt started. Torque these bolts to 130 foot-pounds. Take the ABS wheel speed sensor wire, push that grommet in there, the other retainer, push that in. Find the connector. Connect the connector, lock it down, and then push down on the lock. Line this up, push that in place. Take the lug nut off. Now install the wheel, line it up. Put the lug nuts on. Tighten those down. Now we're gonna to torque the lug nuts to 130 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. Well, I hope this video helped you out. And if you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1aauto.com and you can watch all those repair videos to help you with your installs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.